Good evening. Welcome to Options Center. We have been on a business trip, my wife and I, so um, I have not been able to put out a video. I just walked into the door, still have my shoes on. I want to put out a video real quick for you. So um, if you like this video, please consider hitting that like button. Go down to the description. Hit those links if you want to help out in any other way. Uh, otherwise, go down to that bottom right-hand corner, hit that Options Center logo, and subscribe. Okay, we're going to run through this super quick, you guys. We're going to go daily on the SPY, then the 65 and check out the Elliott Wave count and check out the scenarios going into FOMC. This is a very important move. You don't want to get caught with your pants down into FOMC, okay? It's going to be very volatile. So we have this consolidation area that we talk about each and every video. We're at that support. We broke down into that area. And of course, because we have FOMC, price action recovered we're right there on the uh support resistance line so we're gonna call this neutral we did not break down yet okay um below this low and this is done that's that's what i gotta say about that let's go ahead and go down to the 65 minute we're not gonna dwell on this on the 65 minute pattern we're gonna go Change the board. Trend is our friend. We have uh, this triangle, super important triangle. We break up. I'm a, this is the simple version. We break up aggressively during, after F FOMC. Price action is probably going to go all the way up to it and then spike down super low. And that's, um, you know, where p the traders start panicking and they, they either. Uh, hold on to the longs and price drops and they lose their money or they um, they get out of their longs here they go short and y you have this huge wick and then price recovers that whole wick the next candle and breaks out okay so crazy stuff can happen the whole point is after the dust settles you got to let time happen yeah sure if price moves up first then please put on put protection Add to that protection. Whatever the case is, it starts settling above, time-wise, settling above. Then you got to break out to the upside. The downside of the triangle, breaking, especially if you break this low, it's going down. Okay? All right, that's a simple, simplified version. Let's bring out the uh, Elliott Wave. On the Elliott Wave count... We have in the white, you see this initial move down, one. This is our primary situation, one. Two pullback, a one, two pullback, and we're triangulating another one, two pullback. And then we head lower, much lower, much faster. This thing's winding up. Okay, that would be our primary move. But the secondary move would be just a simple bullish factor where this is a initial move up okay i know it's a three-way move but um it, well it's not bullish there's a more bullish scenario this is the bullish of the bearish scenario a three-way move up for an a three-way move down for a b and then an impulsive five-way move up so they're gonna look identical right if 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 the market starts moving to the upside pretty quick, either it stalls here and goes down, maybe even stalls all the way up. As long as it doesn't make a new high there, then uh, the primary situation is happening and then moves down. You see this? I'll put that there. Price action's moving up. And then um, if we... I know I'm going through this quick. Sorry if there's confusion. I expect price action to move up at maximum to close that gap. You see this gap area right here? To close the gap and move down. That would be our maximum. You're probably going to get big wicks and stuff like that and price has to resolve. That's our primary. Our secondary is where price action, this is an A, three-wave move up. Three-wave move down into B. We traced uh, 62% and then we continue higher to close the gap close this gap and then and then we finally 
resolve this. So the original video that I made last Monday called Chop or Drop is now back into play because of this three-wave move that held today. Okay? And then there's a third and last, which was also in that scenario. This is this is just a simplified version. Price action continues to the upside. We're expecting a rejection. The last situation was our alt. And then we'll end this. We're at five minutes. I want to make this super quick. Okay, you see how this triangle is filling out. I can erase that one. We got our C wave. If we are bulls, if we are bulls and this is a wave four, then we're going to fill out the triangle and we're going to head to a new high. All right. A, three-wave move. These are all three-wave moves. B, C, just completed C and held the triangle. So we're looking for now a three-wave move up for D. You see how that um, this most of these moves are looking for upside. We just don't know how far upside. All three scenarios can make it to this gap fill. Every single scenario can make it up to this gap fill. But what happens then is the problem. Okay, so this area, this uh, this uh, it could be a little bit larger area, is where I'm going to be scaling in more of my puts. We're, we're, we're net long. And we're going to scale in more of our put protection because I think price is going to be very volatile. Now, what could get all of us is if it comes back down here and holds again for E. Then I add more calls. Okay? If price looks like it's uh, just three waves and it's going to hold, it's holding pattern, starting to have some reactions, you shouldn't have big reactions, then you add calls because then you know what's really happening. Okay? And then you can put your stop underneath any low there. And then you know this thing's going to move pretty quick to the upside. All right? That's what I have to show you. Uh, don't forget to like the video. Support us in any way you can down in the description. Thanks for joining us. Don't forget to... Uh, to, to help out in many ways. Join us, comment, all those good things. <laughs> Have a great night. Talk to you tomorrow at FOMC.